Kerala, a narrow strip of land sandwiched between the Arabian Sea and the Western Ghats, is known to the world since time immemorial as a land of exotic spices and other riches. People from far off regions, Greece, Rome, China and Arabia, reached the shores of Kerala, located in the southwest corner of the Indian subcontinent centuries ago. Kerala is the living example of the famed Indian dictum, unity and diversity. Today, most people would be astonished to know that more than a dozen languages were spoken in the cities of Kerala, such as Korikod and Kochi, long before the words such as globalization or global village entered into the lexicon of everyday conversation. Even before God's own country became the tagline of Kerala, the presence of gods and goddesses was a key determinant that shaped the landscape of this tropical habitat immersed in lush green foliage. The sacred groves of North Malabar in Kerala are living examples of conservation of nature with ecologically sustainable livelihood patterns and cultural expressions. The concept of God appearing in the form of Tayyam is an abiding expression of the intersection and mutual dependence of human beings, other creatures, and nature. In this universe, every creature is equal before the Almighty. Human beings don't have any special privileges. Tayyam stood for a life in harmony with nature and other beings, rejecting the uniform, linear, and hierarchical narratives of Brahmanical purity. The mastery over music acting, dance, painting, percussion, language, indigenous knowledge, and martial arts are the hallmarks of an outstanding Tayyam artist. The experiences gained over years of single-minded dedication. Tayyam is perhaps one of the unique of rituals encompassing such a diversity of art forms in the world. The splendidly colorful face mask of Tayyam is made out of natural materials such as turmeric, rice powder, sand, green leaves, coconut shell, carbon, etc. The ornaments including the headgear are made out of reeds and other local materials. The Tayyam interacted with all human beings disregarding the social discrimination based on the caste order that prevailed in Orthodox Hinduism. In Orthodox Hinduism, people considered as belonging to the lower castes were kept away from religious rituals including denial of permission to enter temples. Many elements of Tayyam rituals are intimately linked to the agrarian culture and lifestyles of peasants. The inevitable presence of Tayyams, gods or goddesses, in shaping the daily life of the people even today might have played an inspiring role in the coinage of God's own country, the celebrated marker of Kerala in the global tourism circuit. In earlier days, more than thousands of Tayyams existed. The disappearance of big joint families and sacred groves has brought down the number to less than 500 nowadays. Although the number of Tayyams has declined, the awareness of their significance as a great signifier of the harmonious human nature relationship gains wider recognition and acceptance day by day. In the era of climate change and global warming, the sacred groves and Tayyams of Malabar in Kerala have emerged as living examples of a lifestyle deeply immersed in harmony with nature. <laughs>